As we mentioned, Dylan Larkin making his pro debut tonight. Paired up with Andreas Athanasio, and they score. They come it from a terrible angle. Nicholas Jensen somehow puts it up over the left shoulder of McCullum. And the Comets busting into the Grand Rapids zone. A shot and they score. Face off to the right of Markstrom and controlled by the Griffins. Here's Peach on the draw. In front score! Mark Zangley, what a play! As Nathan Peach just set him up along the left side of the net. And from in tight, he redirects it off the heel of the stink and in behind Jacob Markstrom. Yeah, I think we just got to get more pucks. I mean, that's that's the big thing, get traffic in front of this guy. He's a big goalie, so uh, we got to do a good job of getting traffic. But he's beatable. And, uh, you know, it'd be, it'd be a lot nicer if we get off to a better start, maybe get the first goal and, and get rolling from there. You guys have been off a week. They just had the game 7 on Wednesday night. Was, do you think there was any impact to that, uh, you know, the long rest you guys had versus them being battle ready? Yeah, there could be for sure. Um, I mean, they're a good team. I bet. They got their fans back here, which really helps them as well. But uh, great atmosphere to play in front of, for sure. And um, I think we're a really tough team to beat back-to-back, -back, so hopefully we come out tomorrow night and get the win. I'm glad to be getting back at it that soon, uh, you know, to play back-to-back. -back. Yeah, I mean, sometimes when you lose, you're, you're really hungry to get back out there and, and tie the series up. So I think we're all feeling that way. So it'll be nice tomorrow to come out here and try to redeem ourselves. And obviously, you would prefer to have the win, but you do get to score your first pro playoff goal two hours from your home. Mm -hmm. Just talk about that, what that felt like for you. Yeah, no, it was nice to, to get on the board there. Um, it's just great vision by Pacer, really. And uh, he made an awesome pass. I just had to deflect it in the net and happily it went in. Well, I think when you're on the road in, in a playoff game where you're, they're coming off just playing last Wednesday and, and, you know, it had been a week since we had played, I think um, giving up two early goals certainly puts you on your heels a little bit. I thought we got better as the, as the game went along. I thought our second period was much better than our first. Um, I, we didn't give up nearly as many chances. I thought into the third we lost our legs a little bit and we just didn't seem to have the skating legs we had earlier in the game. So uh, it's, a, you know, it's a loss. I think there's things we can build from. I think we learned a little bit tonight. We're going to have to apply that tomorrow. We're going to have to play better, but uh, credit to them. They played real good. Scoring chances were hard to come by in those good ones and when they when you do have a great goal back there. Mm -hmm. What do you do tomorrow to generate more offense? Well, I think you know, it starts by getting out of your end better. And, and I think the more time you spend on the other team's end, the better off you are. We've got to get a little more traffic. We've got to make it harder on Markstrom for sure. Um, but I think you, you, one team's going to put the other on their heels. They put us on our heels uh, enough in the first. Uh, I also didn't think we executed. We had about three three-on-twos uh, that could have resulted in good chances for that we just didn't execute on the rush. If we execute on the rush, maybe we feel different about how that period went. Um, just for a lot of people who are going to see the game tonight, they might be interested in how Bill and Martin perform being dropped in his first pro game right in the playoffs. Just what did you see from him tonight? Well, incredibly hard situation for him. He's practiced one time with us, uh, and that was a real quick practice. Then had a pregame skating, and now he's got to play. Um, you can tell he's a real good player. He skates well. He does a lot of good things. He's got a good stick. Um, you know, we moved him around a couple different lines. We had him playing lots of different positions. It's hard to get comfortable when you're in that type of situation, but we're trying to find the best chemistry as quick as we can, too. So I thought he played well. Um, I think he'll only get better as the series goes along.